we very rarely pick the camera up so late in the day on a Renault DIY day. But we filmed for another video this morning and now we're doing something exciting. We are getting the boards onto these walls so it should be a big impact. Something that I wanted to get on camera and Ollie is telling me that he has a good visual for this. It's gonna be a fun bit. So stick around to see that. <laughs> Is it you cutting out little holes and being on the other side? Yeah. <laughs> That's a fun bit, isn't it? All right, okay, yeah. That is... We'll put this wall up. Yeah. And then these two will be covered. Okay. And then we'll cut them out and push them through. Well, okay, well, I'm excited about that. Does that look good? Yeah, I think that's cool. I think we know it's cheap. Played hide and seek for us, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, play full and free. We had a kid in the world. I was one rich little girl. See, the mirrors have to go over just this panel, don't they? You don't want them too big. And I no. think what we've got is currently too big. It's actually quite nice to see. To see the wall up. The, yeah. Well, that is basically like the vanity, isn't it? And yeah. the mirrors. And that is our first wall up. And our first part of putting this room back together. It's crazy because now you can kind of see a little bit more the size of the room, the feel of the room, what it's gonna be like. We've actually decided that the mirrors that we had probably too small. So we'll look at that with some tin foil when we see you next. Too big. Oh yeah, too big. Do we knock again? Of course. Good morning. Good morning. We've got some good news and some bad news this week, haven't we? Good news, found some electricians. They can come in super quick. They can come in quick and they seem really good. Ollie is literally like friends with him now. He came to look around and I was downstairs and they were basically up here chatting for a whole hour. I was like, what happened? What were you chatting about? He was like, oh, we were just chatting. Chatting about moving and houses and anyway. We found an electrician. <laughs> good uh, news. Other good thing is the builders popped in and had a little look at the roof on the bay window. They don't think we need to rip it all out. Yay! And they reckon it's a day's work for them just to... Repair the timber. Prop it up, chuck some new timber in and put like a new subfloor to the roof. So that's good news. Unfortunately, our bad news is that they need to... This is propped up by bees. Bees are sitting on the window. We need a new window now. Which is exceedingly bad news because we were hoping to keep these windows because they're super expensive to replace. We were just going to tidy them up for now. And so we hadn't even looked into replacing it, which means lead times could be months and months and months. So this could be a huge 
setback to the project. Yeah. But we can get on with the bathroom, so that's what we're gonna do for now. All popped in this wool to the hallway this morning, which is looking really good. And he's working on building out the toilet area, and I'm gonna look at mirrors for here so that we can open up these holes. Decided on the mirror size, they are bespoke, so I'm gonna go and have a little look and see. But this is this is our vanity unit. And proportionately, I just think this goes well in the room. They're tall, but they're a little bit slim. And actually, it's not that off of the hole that we had to cut behind, no. is it? We're gonna end up with like a tiny bit of blind storage, but you can't lose anything behind that. It's just gonna be extra space. Yeah, so it's all worked out. We can get going with that now, can't we? And cutting that out. And then we'll have our electric tooth brushes behind there, which will, I think, just be perfect. And actually, now that it's all here and I can stand here, I'll be able to reach a lot more than I originally <laughs> did when we were, when we were not, worrying about it. I'm not going to be able to reach the top. <laughs> yeah, which I, I you know, still don't think I'll reach the top, but I'll easily reach, like, a few shelves. Most of it. Yeah, so I'll go have a look at that. I'm going to leave Ollie. Um, he's currently getting some nails off the ceiling. And I'm well, gonna then put some wood in, aren't you? Yeah, do something. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Just take it one step at a time. That's what I love to hear. I have a master plan, it's all gonna go perfectly, and I'll be finished the master bedroom bathroom by tonight. I mean, that would be wonderful. <laughs> I did say to Ollie if he was safe on the ladder, and what did you say? Uh, nothing's 100% safe. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. So today we have a bit of a different job outside to get down this grate. And I said to Ollie, shall I film it? And what was your response? Yes, if it goes well. Maybe if it goes poorly and definitely not if it goes wrong. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but we've got our toilet waste pipe coming out here. This is gonna be the ensuite in here. We've also got a pipe coming here, but this one is right in the middle of this grate. This won't be here in the future. So for now, we're taking this down. We may put it up at a later date in between if we can. No, we're not. <laughs> okay, we're just taking it down. Now, Ollie thinks that I, from this window, can lift it from here. You only need to lift it like a tiny bit. There's no way my body will stretch that far, my love. Oh no, the, the, no, that's why there's a strap tied to it. Oh, oh, okay, all right, I can do that. <laughs> I thought you meant I had to lean out the window. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have put that past you. No way, no. Okay, okay, I feel a bit better a about bit better. this now then, okay. yeah. Right. So you want me up there? I want you up that window. And you're gonna be there, or are you gonna be here? Um, I don't know, it might be better to have you at the master bedroom window, to be honest. Yeah, it's easier from there. Okay. I've tied a stick to it. So Basically it there's, I wonder if I can zoom you in. There's a bolt right at the front there. You can kind of just see, and then there's clips at the back. So we're hoping to lift it and then slide it down these... Um, Controlled fall, I think is what we're going for. Beautiful steps here without ruining our dining room little extension bit there. Or our neighbor's window. Yeah, I mean... That'd be fine. Not this that. footage may never be seen <laughs> and nobody will know why the dining room <laughs> is never seen again.
Um, are you able to reach that? No, I know, I tried on the top there. camera sobbed and we gutted because we got it down eventually it takes some time but it's off <laughs> it looks so much nicer up there without it doesn't it i don't think i appreciated that it would be nice for it to be down yeah yeah we've got a lot of pointing in, in that section Posed to perfection. Give us a little spin. You're gonna laugh at me. Oh, I wanna see your belt in its full glory. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. It's so much quicker. I don't have to, like, I'm not having to go to my tool bag at all for anything. <laughs> no, you're just wearing it. Yeah. <laughs> um, we haven't checked in for a whole minute, have we? Because we initially didn't know what we were doing. We started one of our Renault days and I did bring the camera out and, the, and we were like, mm. we basically spent most of our time doing, just looking at the walls and trying to decide what we're doing. Yeah, that day. Anyway, we'll show you what we did do. I started to insulate this wall. So many of you have asked actually, are you gonna insulate the walls and the ceilings? And yeah, so we did this room above when we did the upstairs. All of our walls are going to be done too in the rock wall, which is uh, sound and heat panel. Um, and we'll do the same for in here, but we're doing it this way, the other way around for this room. And then in here, we have batons, as we like to call them. <laughs> um, this is what took us such a, a long time. We spent probably, wow, we spent, this has taken us two days so far, hasn't it? To get these up. Yeah, and that's not quite, it's not taking that long now, but figuring, figuring out, it out how to get them all straight and level. Because I think you can see the most actually on these walls, <laughs> how wonky our walls are. So the gap at the top there, and then you've got, no gap in the middle and then a huge gap again at the beginning at the beginning <laughs> at the bottom and you can really you can actually i don't know if you can see via camera but you can see the hump here in person so to be able to put plasterboard on these have to be perfectly straight oh it's a fun game isn't it so much fun. and poor ollie has basically been doing most of this it's fine now yeah figured out how to do it and it's going much quicker it's a bit of a process, unfortunately, because, you know, we have one drill and impact driver. We can't both be doing it. No, not really. I was doing cutting them to length and putting this backing on. So what's that backing called? DPM? DP? DP something. <laughs> yeah, DPM. Damp proof membrane. This stuff. Yeah. I was putting that on to try and make it quicker, but we obviously didn't need them on here. So I'm, I'm leaving it to you now. Yeah. And you've done a few in here as well, haven't you? Yeah. Starting, wow, it looks really dark. Uh, yeah, starting to do around this little hallway area as well. Bit, yeah, so I'm finish that wall and then I'll do that one around that door that's staying. Yeah. And then I'll come back into this room and finish this little section up here. But I had to wait because the bricks all fell out of our wall. Yeah, we so had to neaten that up, didn't we? That back in, but they are they're solid now. Uh, so hopefully, definitely by the end of this weekend, these batons will be up. The electrics will at least be started. It's starting tomorrow morning. And this room will be being put back together. Yeah. But for today, I'm going to leave you in the capable hands of Ollie. I will show you what I'm doing. Yeah. I love seeing you film what you film, so. I'm going to try and do it well today. I'm going to like do it logically. Oh, okay. Instead of just like randomly picking up and be like, hello, I did this. That's what I need. <laughs> <laughs> All I can think about is how pretty the laser looks when it hits all the walls and everything. Does it look cool? Right, to a quickly, blah, 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 
to quickly explain what it is I'm doing. When I started, I put the laser level in the middle of the door and pushed it all the way back so I found out where the furthest out bit of the wall is and that turns out to be in that corner just there. Then screwed in the battens down the bottom so that is like their fixed position and then put the laser level back slightly so it hits the very edge of the baton, that's why it's a bit lit up and green. And then that will then tell me, as I go all the way up the wall, whether it's in the right place. Then just need to do that again with the other baton, and oh, this one that I'm just popping in, that one needs another one there. I've already done all the bits up there, and then that wall will be finished, but it is made very easy because I've got that doorway. This one was a bit harder because I've got no doorway, I can't push the laser through the wall. So I had to get a stick and draw some marks and do some little like calculations, which are very simple, but at the same time, very confusing. Kind of like, are you going up, are you going down? All of that kind of stuff. So. That one was straightforward because I managed to figure out what I was doing from the beginning and get it done. This one is the real problem and the one that I haven't finished yet because I tried to do what I did on that wall but I wasn't doing it correctly. So now these studs kind of are coming towards this way. So they're coming away from the wall, which is a pain. So I've got to figure out a way to fix that while making sure that the wall, when it goes over the window, does not look all wonky and then joins up on this side. So, I will show you what I'm doing step by step. Or I might chop this bit out because it's probably not going to be that interesting. But, we'll see. That is now straightened, it's, sorry, it's plump, start again. Right, I've got this baton in now. It is clamped against the wall and it is straight vertically, but it is not correct going this way or that way. That's why we've got to look at the level. So the first bit we're gonna do is the bit right down the bottom because that is where the wall pokes out the most. Bit of an angle. I cut a whole bunch of little wooden packers from offcuts of ply and MDF and stuff just so I don't have to use the expensive packers all the time but then they're really good for fine tuning but one of those little ones seems about perfect so we'll get that one in first. There we go, now that's in, we can move up the wall to the next bit, which here is supposed to be 600 centers. So I've already marked that out for the other ones, which means we're now looking at this bit here. Third another pattern. Still needs more. I will have to go cut some more packets. Okay. And in case you would like to know, these are big Torx frame fixings, so you don't need any raw plugs. You just big up, drill a big hole with this one and throw the screw straight in. I will carry on with this and I will see you in a minute. Right, that is done. 
and it's all pretty dark. Hold on. <laughs> it is all pretty level and straight and lovely. So, it's quite boring, it's quite repetitive. <laughs> so I will probably just show you once I'm finished. If I finish, hopefully I will. Should be simple this one. And I'll pick you up in a bit. I am not 100% sure where I left you, but let me catch you up on what has happened. So you may have been able to see behind me that we have wiring. Um, I can't quite say that we've had the electrics done yet, but we have had the first day. So in the first day they actually got quite a bit done. You can now see on this wall the two side lights that we're gonna have, socket down here. We're also having what they call P lights, but censored lights, so that when we walk throughout here we will have little lights turn on to go to the toilet. Ollie put up the battening here. I'm, I'm not even sure. Oh, that must be for the a switch maybe coming down here. Sorry, not 100% sure. Lots of switches going on here, lots of wiring, threading back through this way. And then into here you would have seen this battening, I think the last time you saw it. And you can see our mirrors with our side lights here. That one's just there. The lights that are going into our shower. What else is there? Oh, and the plumber also came back. We've now got this in. So our shower can literally get going. He raised the head slightly for us because we are having under floor heating in here. So the floor is actually gonna be raising quite a bit. I feel like a lot more happened with the plumbing, but we also, you saw us took off the grate here and we've got the pipes going out. The next part will be to get it running around our house. And yeah, pretty much we've got them all over the ceiling too. All of the new wires coming in. We're having a spotlight there, uh, which will be directional. So it will be going hopefully over a picture over the bath. And then we're also having little spotlights. I call them spotlights. They're, they're much more like directional lights again, going like teeny tiny ones just underneath the bath to kind of like highlight it. And yeah, we've got like sockets all the way in the back of here as well, so we've got wiring going all through there for our toothbrushes and stuff. I'm not sure it will seem it to you guys, but for me it really feels like it's pushed forward in the last few weeks, and it really feels like I can start seeing it, especially with the bathroom being here now. I don't know, it just feels like things are moving a lot more quickly. I do have one question of advice from you though. Two things actually. First of all, a question for you. We, as I just mentioned earlier, we're gonna be putting underfloor heating in here, which I do really want to go for. Our towels upstairs are cold. They aren't being heated from underneath at the moment because this is the underneath, we're obviously not in here. But the room below us is the dining room and I'm not sure that's a room that will be used or heated a lot in the future. So we're going for underfloor heating, but it's gonna create, as I said, quite a lip. So here we're gonna have the floorboards and then here I'm just worried it's gonna be like quite a big step in. Have any of you done that? If so, would you mind sending me a picture so that I can visualize how you do it? Cause that's obviously something that we're gonna be looking at doing. We're doing this floor here ourselves and I'm not quite sure how that will connect in with a big step. Is it better to push the step back? I guess it's better to push the step forward more or just have it normally when it's in the middle. Do you even know what I'm talking about? If you do, I'd love to get your opinion because it's something that we wanna go for and we're just gonna to have to overcome that height difference, but it probably is gonna be, I mean, I'm just guessing this, but it is gonna be a good bit. And then the other thing was, I often get questions on my video and at the moment, I'll be honest, I watched a Insta story the other day, I think it was Rosie Londoners, and she said exactly it. It's a weird thing when you put yourself online and you get this, there was a word for it that she used that was much better, but it's like this vulnerability after you put content up. And I always look at your comments and like them, but I feel a bit shy afterwards. That might seem very odd to some of you guys, but I do. So I was thinking that I might answer some questions every week at the end of the video. So I'll pick two or the most popular ones. You can ask the same one again and again and again if you really want it answered. But yeah, I thought it would be quite nice for me to just answer a few right at the end. So any questions that you might have? And with that, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.